<clears throat> What's going on, T subs and T squad? So, first and foremost, I appreciate get into the sun kiss skin, bitch. All right. Two, <clears throat> I definitely want to thank everybody that's been checking on me, DMing me, emailing me, um, all of the comments. Thank you guys so much. I'm feeling much, much better today. All right, much, much better. Still some soreness because you see I'm home, but um, some soreness there, whatever the case may be, but I am much, much better than I was yesterday. So thank you guys so much for all of the love and the support. And um, yeah, thank y'all. So this is why Summer House is late because y'all was supposed to get there yesterday, but I, I, I no. So y'all are getting it today. Y'all will be all right. Summer House, Season 2, Episode 8, Gossip Girls. So the episode continues with Bria breaking up with Simon. She tells him to pack up all his ish and get at. Um, put a pen. Summer talks to Jasmine and her friend about her decision to stop drinking. Summer is one night. Summer is one night. Like, Summer, come back next season sober from that night all the way until you came back and then you an act to talk girl you sitting over here talking to them about your one night of non-drinking that's usually what a lot of drunks and winos do and that's what you get uh Amir tries to talk to Bria about her and Simon. Um, Simon and Bria tries to talk again. It goes nowhere. Um, Bria talks to the ladies about the situation with Simon, how he never acts like this at his events. And she feels like he only acted like that because he can't stay the whole time. Whatever. Um, the ladies talk about Nick and Tasia and how Nick should be honest about the Tasia situation and how Nick should be honest with Tasia about some of the things that he's done. Uh, Bria says that if one of them gave Nick the opportunity to smash while he was in a drunken state, he would go all the way with it. Listen, this is what I'm going to say. Hansy, I give y'all that. But what else has Nick done? See, because y'all keep saying she needs to be honest about everything. Well, y'all already told on him about how he was in all of y'all DMs and y'all didn't even know that he had a girlfriend. But that was last year. This year, y'all, a couple of y'all are like, well, he gets drunk, he gets a little handsy or whatever the case may be. Fine, I'll allow y'all to have that. But all this stuff about, you know, he downstairs and, you know, he, he looking at the girls twerk. So, so what straight heterosexual male isn't going to look at a girl twerking, whether he got a girl or not? Now, if he do got a girl, I mean, you know, he, he should have enough decency to take a quick pick and then hurry up and get his eyeball back before she knocked both them holes up out, out, out his head. But that's very normal. That that's that. Uh, I mean, like I, I don't know. Like I agree with the Brooke Ashley. Shout out to her. I don't like the way that y'all are doing Nick. Y'all doing Nick mad dirty. Y'all are like y'all are sitting here trying to pile on this thing as if he's a creep while simultaneously saying, "But you not a creep though." Nah, because when when you when when you because my thing is when you do people like that, you put people in that type of mind frame of a person. You do. Words hold power. They do. Words hold power. And if you're a lady and you're running around here throwing these trigger words and these buzz words that a man is making you feel creepy, like, or or or, or, or he's way too handsy, like that's gonna make a person like. Um, listen, it won't much to this episode, y'all. I'm trying. I will say this, though. Natalie, use a messy bitch. Natalie, 
use real messy and the fact that you don't mind to come be a messy is an issue for me i'm i'm, I'm gonna be honest you don't want to be around these people while they doing nigga shit, but yet you want to sit around and be around for the mess and you want to stir up and 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 and, and curate a whole bunch of damn mess that's just how i feel about you natalie use a messy bitch, a messy pasty ass bitch at that messy you fit right in with the niggas messy because that shit me and my homegirls do messy just messy mind your business simon and bria talk bria I, I listen bria like i said on the panel and i'm gonna say it up here you're a willing bed wench i have nothing for you Bria, if I'm to believe everything that you say is true, why would you want to be with Sam? And I'm going to tell y'all something else. I saw a lot of y'all getting under the comments, under the damn, uh, 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 on the panel live. A lot of y'all getting under the comments with that stupid shit, talking about, oh, well, I, I, I. I don't think he he's this and that and the third. No, I just think he's blind to it. No, I just think he ignorant to it. Let me let me tell you bitches something. Let me tell y'all something. Because y'all was really irking my damn nerve. You're in an interracial relationship. I'm telling you that your family, your people, they're saying shit to me that I just don't agree with. And I'm coming to you as your girl and letting you know what the situation is, is no way in hell, Bria should have been left to sit outside in a car while he's still up in there, in my opinion, dragging her ass right along with them. Cause Bria, you won't in there. You won't in there to hear what Simon had to say about you. I don't put nothing past Simon and y'all need to stop putting shit past Simon too. Run around here trying to act like, well, he don't know, he don't know. Why the fuck he don't? He older than her. How he don't know? How he don't know? And if that's his girl and if he cares about her like that, it is no way in hell she should have been left to have sat in a damn car when she, after she. Y'all can have y'all opinion. I'll allow y'all to have y'all opinion, no matter how fucked up y'all opinion is. I guess I'll allow y'all to have it, but I just, I, I don't, I. <clears throat> y'all, fine. Fine. If y'all gonna allow somebody of the opposite race to basically play in your face, because that's basically what it is. But be clear, I don't, I don't have no feelings towards Bria because Bria knows it. She calls it out. She experienced it. She saw it for herself. And she also saw that her man did absolutely not a goddamn thing about it. So you laid all of that out, Bria, and then you still gonna sit over here and say after all of that, well, I think I'm just gonna. We can try to give it a try, and we could try. Hey, must be the money. Trifling. I, I, I can't. I can't. Fine. How y'all opinion? Moving on. Um, cause I, I, I don't get it. I really don't. I don't get how a lot of y'all niggas is running around here making an making an allowance for Simon. I, I, I don't. I. Whatever. Um, talking about something he don't know. He do damn know. A lot of them know. Natalie tries to talk to Tasia, but she didn't want to talk, and I'm down for Tasia. I'm down for Tasia. And my thing about it is, Natalie, you run around here talking about you and Tasia are friends. My thing is, if y'all were friends like that, then why didn't she want to go and sit and talk to you? Why she didn't? Why she didn't want to go and follow you to talk to you? That's what I want to know. Y'all supposed to be friends. Y'all supposed to be cool. I would have went with my friend and my friend said, can we get over here so we can talk right quick? Yeah, friend, what's up? Nick texts, texts Natalie about what's going on. She tells him about the conversation with Bria, Noel, and Shanice. But Natalie also forgot to mention up that she was the one that brought that shit up while you running around here trying to blame it on um, Noel, Shanice, and Bria. You were the one that brought that conversation up. You neglected to tell Nick that with your pasty, messy ass. Moving on. Nick talks to Nicole, Shanice, and Bria about what he heard from Natalie, and Noel feels a way about Natalie running her mouth to Nick, and Nick gathers the ladies together, um, as well as Bria. And then Bria does what Bria always does, where, which is 
she feels as though she could sit and run her mouth and get loud with you and say whatever to you. But when it's done to her and when it's warranted, then she wants to turn around and talk about how she, you're not going to talk to her. You're not going to. That's why you were a white man, because see, only a white man would put up with that. I'm telling you right now, Bria, and I'm just calling it the way it is. Let me not say that. A man of another race will be able to take you and everything that comes with you, which is mostly bad, not good. See, the opposite race wouldn't mind putting up with that because it's the opposite race and you're opposite race and that's just where that's at. But see, niggas would never put up with the likes of a Bria at all. Bria would be stuck with a lifetime full of loneliness, cats, and more damn mallows, honey. Like, Bria, you really have to grow up. You have got to grow up. They say you 27, 27, 28, bitch, you damn near 30. Grow the hell up. Grow the hell up. Like, you annoy me. I can't stand hoes like you. I can't. Y'all go out here and feel as though y'all can say whatever the fly fuck y'all want to say to people. But then the minute that somebody want to give you that same energy back, now you want to turn around and try to dig, dig, dictate how they supposed to talk to you and this, this, that, and this. No, girl, fuck you. I said what I said and what I said is what I said. You got a problem with it, bitch. Do something. Do something. Stick a breath. <clears throat> anyway, Nick. I appreciate you for the way you handled it because you didn't cuss none of them dusty crows out like I would have did. All right. You ain't get him the business nearly as much as me and none of my homeboys that I went to high school and middle school with because they'd have cussed them bitches out. They would have. Like, they don't play about their name. They don't play about their name. They don't play about their reputation, especially when it comes to something, something serious as trying to make somebody out to be creepy because that's what it is that y'all are doing. And it backfired. And I'm going to tell you something else, Noel. Don't come up here with that AKA shit no more, girl. Do not get yourself involved in anything, Noel. You should have never opened your mouth and said a damn thing. It had nothing to do with you. He didn't do anything to you. And sometimes, Noel, it's just best not to have an opinion. Sometimes it's just best to sit in a circle and just nod your head. Sip your wine and nod your head. That way, can't nobody say and, 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 and Noel said this. And Noel bought this up and Noel gave an opinion. No, just sip your wine, nod your head, collect tea, and go on about your business. Sometimes it's just best to do that. And and, and, and you can stay out of stuff. That's my advice to you, Noel, because even though you's a pink and green woman, I like you, Noel. I do. I like you a lot. I think you're real cool people. I do. I think you're real cool people, but I won't mad at him for like way getting you together. Because like I said, he should have cussed y'all out. Anyway, that's it. That's all. The episode. It was honestly boring. <laughs> Just going to be honest. It was boring. I mean, other than the small little talking points I had, it's one much. But y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about Monday, Sunday night's episode, should I say. And um. I see y'all tonight for the roasted review. Um, that's gonna be on JoJo's channel tonight. And let me get the time right. It's gonna be on JoJo's channel tonight at eight oh five. All right, it's going to be tonight over on JoJo's channel at 8.05. All right, so definitely make sure that y'all are here for that. Um, and we're going to be talking about Robin Dickham down, way down to the ground, Dixon, whether or not she's the worst housewife ever. No, she's actually not the worst. Um, the worst will always be tacky. And I'm telling you that now, JoJo, on the Summer House Review. Nah. Robin Dickham down way down to the damn ground Dixon is not the worst when you got the likes of attack. But that's just my opinion. But y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the episode. Like I said, y'all be here tonight on JoJo's, be there tonight on JoJo's channel at 8.05. And I'll holler at y'all and see y'all then. Bye.